First off, Avatar is one of the best films I've ever seen. The 3D is amazing, the computer-generated graphics are light years beyond anything we've seen before, and this film demands that you see it in a top-notch movie theater, so don't wait. Get out and see it as soon as you can. You won't be disappointed. Now, considering the fact that director James Cameron began developing his amazing film in 1994, it's really remarkable that it finally found its release during the same week that the world was meeting in Copenhagen to do something about climate change. Because, boy, let me tell you, does this film have a lot to say about environmental issues? And I can guarantee you that the right wing isn't going to agree with any of it. All of which fills me with a certain glee because the film was released by Fox, whose Fox News channel will likely spend a great deal of airtime deriding everything Cameron tried to say in this film. Now, for those of you who have yet to see Avatar, let me say without giving away any real spoilers that it takes place in the sort of future one would expect to find where Sarah Palin and her red state cheerleaders to ever take over the levers of government. Although it's never shown, Earth is referred to as a dead world without any green left to it, whose human children, after having killed their mother Earth, have now traveled to the stars to continue their old ways of destroying everything that gets between them and whatever natural resources they happen to have set their sights upon. Well, as you might expect, the film mostly deals with the consequences of someone trying to get in between the humans, or sky people as they are called in the film, and the resources that they want, with James Cameron's message being loud, clear, and simple. Respect nature. Now, Avatar is a, re is a remarkable film for so many reasons. It's artistry, it's amazing breakthroughs in the technology of filmmaking, it's story, acting, and direction. But what truly set it apart for me from so many past blockbusters is the fact that it dares to make a statement. And as much as I love films like oh, The Dark Knight, Spider-Man, The Lord of the Rings, and of course Star Wars, none of those films goes much beyond an exploration of the nature of good and evil. None of those films will ever be held up to ridicule on Fox News, but James Cameron's Avatar might just be popping up in the gun sights of Sean Hannity and Bill O'Reilly, which is a thought that I sincerely hope will keep Rupert Murdoch awake for many nights to come.